Hey there, hi there, hello there, fire family, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this we're reacting to Hell of a Boss, Season 2, Episode 8. The long-awaited Full Moon episode, or aka Stolitz episode. At least that's what I'm pretty sure most of us know it will be. Um, hence why I'm doning my uh, Stolitz uh, shirt. Um, but yeah, we've been waiting a while for this one, and the previous episode was the Mammon episode, and that was like half a year ago i believe so we've been waiting a while uh, but i'm i'm uh, without further let's get into it because i'm excited oh can't wait to see whether it's going to be heartbreak or um bittersweet or ends it has a happy ending i'm hoping it has like a happy like kind of hopeful i'm sure it will i, I think solace is end game when it comes to a ships uh, or the ship so even if they don't work out in this episode i'm pretty sure it's gonna but anyway yeah i'm rambling i don't know i'm excited so let's go give us the angst of course of course we're starting with stolas and you know the fancy bourgeois music and we're at his uh mansion yeah, I would say mansion. Also, nice, nice alarm clock. Can I have that? Oh wait, the alarm clock even has the the moon phases. That's cool. Full moon tonight. Pride weather update. Partially cloudy. Redder than usual. Somehow, <laughs> redder than usual. <coughs> that bird noise. Also, him throwing up reminds me of when Blitz threw up on the couch. <laughs> To the okay, we're starting off with a song. I will not pause during the song. I, I know you guys don't like that, so I won't pause during the during the song. Let me just scoo scooch back a little bit before you started singing, and then I will say stuff, but I won't pause. Thank you to the butterflies in my stomach. I haven't felt this nervous since I was a little fluffy down nesting. My daring nestling is half disguised behind the smile. My beak is grinding, never minding. I swore I wouldn't dwell on the divorce to the mile. Dwelling on the divorce, yeah. I remind myself. Self care, self love. I see him. I know Blitz. That it won't feel so tough. I'll believe him and not the voice that says I'm not enough. No <laughs> the freaking eyeliner running. It can just be him and me. I'll set us free. How perfect it could be. Could be. When I see him tonight. Tonight. Oh. oh is Blitz gonna sing? Is Blitz gonna sing? See him tonight. All right, all right. It's been a while since he begged for attention. Are we okay? We're getting a Blitz and Stolz song? I'm getting by by avoiding his questions. Complicated. I hate when it's complicated. Why do I always end up in situations that are complicated? Here I go again, getting in my head. I love how he's not really singing, it's just kind of like rapping when a little bit. I see, when I see him, I'm gonna do that thing he likes. I will change. Oh, the polar. I'll just bring the rope and spots. Oh, we've got a nice arrangement. Oh, I, mean, I have to go back on the song and pause a lot. Luna's outfit or shirt. I if this goes back, <laughs> I I see him tonight. Am I doing something I can't take back? Want me if he was free. This is giving almost like opera or musical. As Morris Crystal. That bird squawk! Come to your side. <laughs> oh, so there's that scene. But when I see him, will it be tender? There's that last the scene from the ending scene from the trailer. Or will I just be fucking it all up? Can this be a relationship? Or am I still naive? I'll set us free. Whatever it may be, when I see him tonight. This puts the flower back like it'll just stay on there. 
and don't worry, Silas, you're doing the right thing. Okay, now I need to go back because a lot, there's a lot, a lot. I'm gonna just go over it. But holy, that was a good song. And it's the first time we've had a solo splits duet. I mean, with them not being in the same room together, but at least the two of them singing. So that's a that's a great start. I was a little fluffy down nesting. My An adorable little nestling. Behind the smile, my beak is grinding. The whole like behind my beak, I'm crying. Like he puts up that facade, and then it's just like behind the curtains, he's you know wrecked, heartbroken, or not heartbroken, not not yet. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, he won't, but, um, yeah. Never minding, I, swore I love how it switches, too, to, like, his, like, his expression there. Well, I'll remind myself. I also just realized that his blanket is literally him. Hold on, I need to get a shot of that. I'll remind myself. There it is. That's literally his coat here. His, the, the, the thing that holds his coat together. That's his face. That's like his uh, collar that flares up his eyebrows and his crown. <laughs> Jeez. Also, him be singing about this and being in the tub reminds me of, uh, uh, what is it with him and like talking about Blitz or to Blitz like while he's in the tub? <laughs> not the voice that says I'm not the reflection. But I'm not enough. So it's just, oh. Uh, How perfect it could be. The bubbles come together. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I gotta pause this. Actually, do I want to? Is this gonna be allowed on YouTube? <laughs> I'm kind of scared, but they, I mean, if they didn't blur it out, then I'm sure it's fine if I don't. Uh, anyway, freaking Blitz drew all the little sausages coming toward. I didn't mean, not mean to say coming, but you know what? You know what I mean? Running toward Stolas, who looks absolutely like blank eyed. First day, nothing horse. Fourth day, don't know what that is, just scribbles. Fifth, kill them all. Six, check the van. Eight, business day. Nine, Millie party? So is, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Did they show the month? Tonight. No, I don't know what they No, they don't show the month. So I wonder what month Millie's birthday is on. Cause I'm guessing that's her, her birthday. Moxie day. Okay, Millie party, Moxie day. So wait, I'm, I don't know what the party is for. Mi Moxie day, I'm guessing to celebrate. Practice, uwu face. Luna on walk, scribbles. Something, wait, okay, good. Call fizzies. He calls fizzy, he calls fizzy, that's cute. Deadline, what deadline? 21, kill that effing guy. Wait, wait, wasn't, no, 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 that was, I was thinking, like, didn't he take Luna on a walk, but never mind, he took her for the Vex, I was thinking, I wonder if these are, like, episodes, possibly, but never mind, 25, daddy, daughter day, that's cute, you got a whale, a striker, stupid, oh my god, freaking Stolas, like, all happy and stuff, what, what is he, like, oh, is he, like, starstruck by the moon, 28 rocket stars, 29 moon, 30, don't forget, the bondage kit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, of course, Blitz always scratching himself out of photos because he can't stand himself. Oh, uh, wait. He even has the adoption certificate for when he, uh, when he adopted Luna. That's cute. See him tonight. Okay, right, don't. Right. It's been a while since he do not do the static thing or whatever. It's like, what is that shirt? All right, all right. It's been a I want to see horses, Luna's room, remain something at all times. Keep out danger. Beware of dog. I'm. S Is that freaking little Blitz like sticking his head in one of the horses' mouths in uh, the circus? What is that shirt you're wearing, Blitz? Can't really say. Are we okay? Can't really say. I'm getting by by avoiding his question. I'm getting by by avoiding his question. His question. Yeah, you are. Okay, okay. You got some kind of sticker there that's like the sketchy art, like the black and white drawing style, art style. Here I go again, getting in my head, so I'll focus on the sexy stuff instead. Here I go, getting in my head, 
So I'm going to focus on the sexy stuff. Is that yeah? That's literally what he he avoids all this emotional feely stuff and, and just goes right into his dirty jokes and everything. Actually, let me test this. Can I go back and forth? Okay, that's like 10 seconds. Actually, that's too much. So I can't go back by frames. Shoot, but whatever. And of course, freaking Blitz be wearing that type of shirt that lets like that reveals one of your shoulders. I mean, granted, Solus is wearing something that's like completely revealing his chest and everything, and shoulder, both shoulders and stuff. But I'm gonna do that thing. Danger zone. Why do I feel like there are some guys that actually have? Well, I mean, even girls can wear that. Also, this is, I think, isn't this the first time we've seen Blitz's full body, like, nude? Not down there, but, like, his chest and everything to see how many, how much, how far the scars went. I'll just bring the rope and spikes. Spikes? What the fuck do you do with spikes? Oh, there's his happy pills. Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> and it's also, what the? Oh, there it is. Must remain locked at all times. Okay, that's what it said. Also, Luna's freaking, like, shirt just, no. <laughs> She wakes up with just no. She she would like I bet her favorite character would be Grumpy or something from a uh, uh Snow White. Fine, we'll keep it light. I'll suck. We'll keep it light. And then you have freaking I love how you have the two opposites. You have like Blitz who is just singing away, making breakfast and stuff, and then you have Solus who's like having a mental breakdown over here, throwing out all the all the food and everything. Of course, the poor imp waiter. And then so was just like, I'm gonna fucking die alone. Also, blue pancakes. I'm not gonna lie. What This makes me think of like blueberry pancakes. And I feel like I'd like to try that. <laughs> wonder if you could do that. I mean, you can. There's blueberry pancakes. But I wonder if you could make them completely blue. Like blueberry juice, maybe? No, that would make... I feel like it would make a purple. Actually, that wouldn't be bad either. Sorry. Am I doing something I can't do? Right here, the tonal change. I realize it, 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 this became, it went from almost like a, like, poppy musical number to, like, all of a sudden it went, like, almost, what would it, what would it, would it be? Um, oh, like, oh, not Hamilton. I mean, like, Hamilton, but also, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the freaking musical. Um, the mask, like, oh, what's it called? Something like that, where it's just, like, more dark and more, like, emotional and things not as like like newspaper boy like kind of happy poppy kind of pep peppy music Back. Relax. What do you relax no also I'm, I'm not trying to ogle oogle ogle oogle i'm trying not to to stare at blitz being naked but i'm just trying to see like how far his scars go so interesting so his feet are designed like that he's actually got i thought it was just his boots I mean, it makes sense that if his boots... Well, I thought he just had, like, a heel on his boots, but it's actually his feet. So He's got a weapon on his feet. He could stab someone with that point. Holy. Interesting. Would he want me if he was free? Would he want me if, if he was free? That's, cause that's the question. And now we're in it. Now we're seeing Blitz start to crack it. Oh, yeah, it's not fine. What kind of monster does that... So that, that, like that, God, I swear, like, Brandon's doing an amazing job, but also, I, I keep blanking on Stoles' as voice actor, but he does an amazing job, too, and he's just, just the emotion he gets into his, when he sings, just that voice crack of just, what kind of monster, will, like, it's like, it's just, yeah, it's so good. Make me, my entire life's been written in stone and about. We're gonna, the rhyme, my entire life's been written in stone, we're gonna bone. <laughs> But it's good that you're giving him that choice. But what, what, will Blitz, mm. ourselves in nasty sets and make that bird squawk. Make that bird squawk. God. What is that cereal? Funky ovals. Surprise flavory? Weird shapes for sad demons. <laughs> well, that's what Stola says right now. Hell milk, yes, it's still white. <laughs> Missing. Is... Is the missing imp the frickin' It looks kind of like the, the guy, the imp from the circus episode, like Lululand episode that was flirting with Millie and then got squished by a uh, blitz. Did he die? <laughs> oh, I just noticed frickin' it's all this cup sad dad with the frowny face. Really must we'll just stick with what makes sense, like him sucking my... 
Blitz, you literally, like, if you didn't like this, your face when you say sucking. With what makes sense, like him sucking. That's a face that he enjoys Solas getting down on him. He, it's not like he's not, it's not like he's forced into this. In that sense, he does enjoy it. And of course he's rubbing his horse statue up. And the squirt of the. Yeah, Blitz definitely covers all of his feelings behind this stuff. What? What about your tongue? Huh? I'll do that thing with my tongue. I love how Solis is having such an emotional just... Like, he's singing all emotionally and getting his feels, and Blitz is just, like, mostly covering it with just sex talk. Dirty talk, I should say. How many minutes am I in this? And I, I, we're only like, this is only like two minutes in and how far? This is already 17 minutes. This is a, it's almost as long as the episode. Yeah, this is going to be an hour long reaction for sure. <laughs> I hope you guys are strapping, get your popcorn <laughs> or whatever snack you want. Cause yeah, this is going to be a long reaction. Also, <clears throat> the freaking baby. Oh, yeah. the, frick yeah. the baby just pops up and just staring at Blitz. <laughs> Will it be tender or be tough? Be tender or tough? I mean, Blitz is thinking in bed, but I think Solis is talking about how it's gonna go with the uh, letting him go. Or will I just be fucking it all up? No, I mean, I'm sure it feels that way, but it's literally, it's best. It's, what is that saying? If you truly love someone, let them go. And if they truly love you in return, they'll come back. Like, they'll fly back to you. Like a bird in a cage kind of thing. Pretty much Blitz is like a bird in a cage. And Solus is setting him free. And then dude, he just has to hope that Blitz comes back to him. And how's this going to go? I swear, I really hope that because we had it, it opened up with a musical number with the two of them, that's gonna end with a musical number with the two of them. But what I feel like it might be more emotional, like way more emotional. Oh, bye bye. Oh, this is like human. What park has uh, sharks and gators? Florida. Sure hope this glass doesn't break. Me too. Hope this glass doesn't break proceeds to get run over instead of the glass being broken runs over the guy So break. then it breaks And falls on him How did you get I'm sorry. How did you get glass though? Like how 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 did the glass come flying at you from the side Nuclear inconvenient <laughs> This is this is too bad because I swear to God, this show. It, stop. Give me give me a. Also, the orchestra freaking going off in that moment. West Street Bank closing down always. Cassettes are us. Uh, or I can't read that lost line. Uh, something lasagna. Live laugh lasagna. I mean yes, lasagna is delicious. Ew! Don't pick up the. Ice cream oh, from the floor? This is gonna be blitz, I isn't it? No need, ma'am. I was just in the right place at the right time. Oh, it's the cherubs. I'm at underwear level, you know. And that I met underwear level you know. Oh. I don't know, Cletus. Doesn't this all seem a little bad? Sinful? Sinful. We've been over this. An opportunity to be selfless and heroic. After that performance. Right. That's how it works. The sure. 20 bucks and a Queeznose punch card? Queeznose. To save more souls and earn our way back. It's kind of funny that they even have to eat it all. <laughs> we have to oh. Oh. And he's out. Oh, time for the dorks. Where are we? We ask the questions here. Hey guys, haven't seen you for a while. Slams his oh. You know that peanut head. Peanut head. I love how he tries so hard not to say anything bad. Maybe we can help each other out here. You know, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Harp shooting there, Mox Pro, as usual.
I love how Moxie still gets so like happy when Blitz compliments him or praises him. What a great fucking day this is. And it's about to get. You sure seem in good spirits today, sir. It's rare to. Did some? Did a body part just fall through the portal before it closed? Yes. Uh, wait, is this a freaking reference to the one child like surviving this? Why do I feel like this is? It kind of reminds me of Batman, like after witnessing his parents' murder. This kind of reminds. Oh, person just strung up in the back. Oh my God, you guys! It's rare to see you wear something not bad. Well, it's the first. Oh yeah, he is wearing a tux. Well, fuck you. It's the full moon. It's that the. <laughs> so you wear something not bad. Well, it's the first of all, fuck you. First of all, <laughs> it's like, well, oh, wait, actually, yeah, F you. It's the full moon. I got to meet up with. Star wait, you guys use cactuses to hold up your clothing as or like as a coat rack? OK. Been taking breaks from having to plow his feathered ass into his fancy ass. And now Blitz wants to. Ah, the, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> so now that maybe that's why he he's much more into wanting to you know get it on with blitz tmi sir point being now nah, we need more like information a little big red flag if they give you chances to ditch they Shh. probably want out themselves luna, sh just want to be more passive aggressive about it <laughs> is that how luna works how do you know luna is that the first time we've seen blitz get sarcastic with luna wait is that like the first? We've never seen Blitz get like that with Luda. Oh, and she's gone. Cause I do that all the time. What did I say? She's saying that because she does it herself. Yes, I finally got to do position thirty-seven tonight. Thirty-seven. No What's though, thirty-seven? Going to Business has actually hit a peak, and it would be disastrous to lose what we worked for now. Is that? That's the line from the trailer where, like, when they were running, like, in the van running away. Also, isn't that, I feel like that's, uh, what do they call it? Foreshadowing what's going to happen when he says we're at a peak and it'd be disastrous if something were to happen. Mm -mm. So something's going to happen that's going to ruin their business. By the end of the night, I'll have Stolas eating out of my ass. Literally. All right, yeah, I think TMI really, I don't, I, I'm good. I'm good. Brandon, <laughs> I love. Stop. I'm done. That laugh from Brandon, and also the little anime blush from freaking Moxie. What was that blush? I can't. Brand, can somebody like get that clip of Brandon's laugh? That's great. Stop. Like that is such an anime blush. That's hilarious. And then it, Okay, grow up, Mox. That's what adults do. We're horny. Grow up, Mox. That's what we do. We're horny. I mean, not all adults. <laughs> and then some are just not interested in sex at all. This is bored after this. Uh, a I horse tail. Of course. Of course, Blitz would have a horse tail, a, a butt, a booty plug, a horse tail. What? Overdue paperwork. That. Just give to Mox. Remember, f eels ready and to go to. I think. Did I already read this in the trailer? Yeah, I did. Never mind. I remember this now. The flaming swords of the heavens here to strike them down with fire. Vengeance. And for all. Guys, talking about. Ow. Shut up, Cletus. Oh, we're seeing more of their facility. You guys have freaking jet and it's just in it. Oh my god, holy weapons! Their assault on Compound X, our government has quadrupled our funding and allowed us unfettered access to Oh yeah, that's right, because they had the evidence. Military really, they make that hat thing a part of a skull? It's the demonic containment cells. Hellfire this, the design of the contain, nah, the design of the containment cells and all, like, this part, this reminds me of, uh, from Stitch, the movie, the movie Stitch, the first one, Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are totally not designed after, uh, freaking Gurren Lagann. 
I already mentioned that in the trailer too. And wait, one looks like Blitz, one looks like Mox, uh, Millie, and that's Moxie. Really? A Luna fursuit? Okay. I mean, I get it, but... Wait, so if they're designed them to look... Are these to fight them, or is this for them to... Why is it like they designed these to fit the crew? Will we plan on eliminating the demonic threat before the of course, it's with the pentagram. Once we work out all the kinks, yeah. Thanks. When we can make it through without dying. So far, we've only been able to open the portal about two feet in diameter. Hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can't very well send children. Huh. Can we? The last time. <laughs> oh! Those goddamn American heroes. Honestly, we're not even sure that was how we... How about it, little guys? I mean, they are child-sized. Demon scum. Sure. Okay. <laughs> they said the F word. Freaking! Oh my god. So you are gonna wear them? Wait. Okay. So. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I mean, not looking bad, but. Oh. Uh, really. So are freaking Moxie, Millie, and Luna got to deal with these four or three at least, while Blitz is dealing with the emotional stiff <laughs> or stuff over with Solus? Oh yeah, that's right. Cause it says child size, and yet they're gonna walk in with those suits that are at least a you know a few feet tall. Uh huh. Oh wait, isn't that? Yeah, isn't that the lust ring? Isn't that um? The tower with Fizzy and um, Asmodeus. Ozzy, I should say. What can I interest you in today? New character. One that screams sexy. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood? The same to me. Bitch, what's the mood? I don't know. I'm a. I don't know mood. <laughs> simple pervert imp. I just need a something. A simple pervert imp. Oh, the music here? Cletus, if we don't do this, we're never getting back into heaven. Which is Even the tail moves. Sure like a regular amp. It's just boobs. Hot babe, sexy. Step on. <laughs> of course, they'd have a step on me store. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? I think the funny thing is, is that while this is, yes, dirty and everything, it actually shows how Stolas cares about. Not Stolas. This actually shows how Blitz cares about Stolas because he's going out of his way to go to these different shops to get stuff that he knows Stolas likes. <laughs> so it's actually sweet in a dirty way. Hello, fellow vile healthy, sweet like Blitz wouldn't recognize that voice immediately. Like that's such a, a that voice. His voice stands out so much. We need some good <laughs> Can't even say the word. Do you have any harshly worded bumper stickers? Harshly worded bumper stickers. Also, the freaking spider demon's eyes cross-eyeing. Uh, or not cross-eyeing, going, what are they called? The freaking loon sound effect. I don't know if that's exactly what we're looking for. What was you guys are in a sex shop. Oh, just some of those. Blitz. <laughs> it's like, peace, we're out. Another innocent earthly soul in some sick barbaric fashion. We have to stop him. Oh, my God. We have to wait for our moment. We must strike Thanks when the time is right. Fizz. I got to get the good shit for tonight. And I know you and I hey, have the best toys in town. I got you, buddy. We have some new Two of them being besties. I think we'll get the a freaking course, a freaking course that the, the keypad would have a face on it that as he presses the buttons, it starts to look more pleasure and then it just, or can't, it sprays on the screen. Oh, freaking. Uh, I know this kind of stuff is what turns away a lot of people, but I, the way they go about it, I don't know, is funny done, to me, at least. Like and clever in some ways. Holy, I'm not pausing on any of this, but wow. Oh my. We have got these new beads. Ooh. 
beads. They're made of real obsidian. Oh, that's beautiful. But you know, Stolas never really seemed into the beads. Alrighty, not never into seemed to be in the beads, so you guys try it. We have some stylish blind babies. Phones. Our new collection has encrusted. <laughs> what was that? Nah. Okay, I need to I need to be careful of pausing on all this. I love how there's certain things that are blurred, and then you have all the Oh my god, the body pillow. I love how so much of this isn't blurred, but then you have certain stuff that is just that's this even has like a heart thing blocked over it. Oh, that's beautiful. We have some stylish blindfolds. Blitz's reaction here. I can't tell if this is he's uncomfortable or it's like shiv sending shivers down his spine. We have the new dragon driller Of course it would be a dragon peen. Of course it would be. Oh <laughs> my Okay. What? What? How? But I know I'm not questioning the size or anything like that because. What is this place? Oh, Ozzy's. So heavy... Quiet! Don't you realize Delta's our greatest advantage here? Oh, don't... Like you guys don't stick out like sore thumbs. Like you, 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 it's like you guys are, it's like you guys have come from an anime convention. You're going to a ball or a gala. Look, voyeurs, positively adorable. Voyeurs. Oh god, what's that? Oh great heavens! We have to stop him now! You're right! I just oh love god. I love how they're mistaking all this for torturing and stuff. There's just splits getting things for solace. <laughs> let's go kick some ass! Oh, oh, oh Millie's already. What? Ooh, music. Wait, I know this music. We've gotten this music before, but this one sounds more bass heavy or something. And you weren't exactly covert. The lighting. You got a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the ass kicking you took last time. I wiggle over butt. What? Ow. No, you don't, bitch. Hey, wake up, asshole. <laughs> New York behavior. Nice. Uh, you can play as me, but that don't mean you're anywhere close. <laughs> Plus, they don't really have experience in fighting. They're eight, they're cherubs. Ah! Uh, oh, you're turning her on. That's fine. Welcome to hell, bitch. What was that voice? Moxie. I would say you guys don't have experience to fight them. You may get a few hits in, but... Ooh. Turn the human and make... Oh, I thought she was gonna make him think like, Oh, I'm a human, don't hurt me. Uh, yeah, you y'all don't... I love how freaking Blitz is missing all of this. Blow out sale, I don't want them anymore. Of course, Mammon wouldn't want them! Anymore because of what went down. Kicks him off. Or kicks her off, I should say. Oh. <laughs> of course, you two would make out or French kiss like that. Well, you two fail. Or three. Pizza party. Freaking the guy in the Luna out? Nah. How much more do we have this episode, actually? Uh, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. We got six minutes of this. How is this gonna end? How is this gonna end? All the stuff he got for Solus is so sweet, but it's... music. I don't. I got for us. I'm so scared. Lots of... Like this extra large candle that smells like. Oh, it was a candle. I thought it was a popsicle. I thought it was a popsicle. It's a candle. I got whatever uh, this. Well, guys, is that a but I'm gnome? sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stiff. Oh my god, he actually said cloaca. I thought, you know what? Because he's because Stolas is a freaking owl slash, you know, a bird that, yeah, male birds don't have wieners. They have cloaca. 
you know what? If you want to look into that, you could go Google it and stuff. You know, as long as you're old, old, old enough. <laughs> but yeah. <Okay. laughs> Not the gnome. I said that was a gnome blog into it. Frickin' just like the, the gnome in the the mall of the Santa Fe. Nah. But I'm sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. And look at this bad boy. Who's that? <laughs> oh my god, it can compact. Do you? <clears throat> that ain't fair. All right, I, I, I can still hold up my end of the bargain. All right, let, let me show you a good time I don't tonight. Like this piano. No, I can. You know I don't disappoint. No, 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 no. Solus. No need. I've made up my mind. Stolas, please, do, I, I need Give this him the boy, crystal. Please. You're starting off wrong with this. It's an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in the your music. name. Oh. No, it's the music that was freaking. That this is like Stolas's like music. Ugh. Oh, what? You no longer need my grimoire. What? You no longer have need any me. obligation to see me, to touch me, to bed me. You are... Free. You are free of me. I don't understand. Why are you giving me this? Am I not, like, fucking you good enough? Because I, I can always... I can always... His reaction. He's me instead of going, okay, yeah, peace out, I'm bye. Like, I'm bye. <laughs> like, peace out, bye, I'm taking this and going. He's he's more upset at the fact that that means they can't do their thing anymore. All I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way. Just like he was with Stella. And I want you to continue to be who you are. Your business. Not the song. You don't have to stay here with me. Oh, his face. Bliss's but face. I want you to. Oh. I want you to stay here with me. Forever. Because you want to. Oh, not forever. Only if you want to. Okay, all right, you're fucking with me. This is an interesting role play. Never done this one, but I can get into it. All right, how's this? Right. Bliss. I'll stay with you. I love you so much. Oh, no, Blitz. I Thank you, Blitz. Oh, not this line, not this line. For awakening me. Or making me so happy. Not this line. Even if only for a little while. I wish you the best with your business. Wait, what? Blitz. You're serious? Blitz. Oh, hold on now, Sauce. What the fuck? I have my answer, Blitz. That your first instinct is that it's always... Yeah. About sex. All the paintings That's covered. enough to know what this is. What? Fuck you, Stolas. You spring this feelings bullshit on me. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, these shots, these shots I knew. Fucking minute to think after everything you oh, put lighting. me through, you pompous, rich asshole. You can't just dismiss me like that. I mean, you royal fucks think you can do this every time. Like, you can just play with our feelings because we're smaller and not as important. Well, I'm not letting you, bitch. Let's go! Blitz, I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Blitz. Stolas, wait! I'm Oh. What? The... Fuck. Fuck! And it ends with heartbreak! Oh, no! This season, I swear to God, I'm it. No! Yeah, because... Like, Stolas hasn't helped with that image, but he hasn't fully treated Blitz like that. Like his whole the fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always about sex. That's enough to know what this is. Like, what? to be fair with Blitz, it, it I understand why Blitz would feel that he that Solos just looked at him as like a sex object when that seems to be the only thing that Solos would like talk about. Um, but at the same time, when their relation relationship for starter was established not couple way but when the 
grimoire and that deal was made, it was literally what enacted it was a, was sex. So Solas believe that that's what Blitz wanted, and Blitz believe that's what Stolas wanted. There was no communication throughout all this, and now it's just a blow up. So Blitz has had his feelings like fester and build because he has the belief that all blue bloods look at imps and stuff as just servants, slaves, whatever. And Solas is sat there looking at, not looking at Blitz as just a sex object, but because he believed that Blitz, you know, wanted him to treat him like that. He's been treating Blitz like that. Uh, and it's just like, because there's no like, hey, you know what, I actually don't feel this way. I don't really look at you as just a sex object and stuff. And there is no like, you know, like, there's no, there's just no communication. And it's just like, it's, ugh. Can I get a fucking minute to think after every- Also the absence of music and just, it's just them and the echoing of the, the, the voice in the chamber or in the rooms. You the lighting. God, the. Treat me like one of your little butler imps. And he hasn't. He hasn't treated him like a butler imp or slave or anything like that. Literally, like when Blitz didn't want to do something, he wouldn't make him do it. So it's not like that. You can't just dismiss. Well, I'm not letting you, bitch. Let's go. That. Oh, that going to make me cry. Just that, 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 oh, that lip tremble. Like that, you know, he's just keep, he's trying so hard not to sob or something. That, 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 that don't make me cry. I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Blitz. Stolas, wait. I'm I had a feeling that shot of him reaching out. It looked like a, almost like he went into a portal or like a fade, like, and he technically did. He got kicked. Mm. What the? That wasn't what he was expecting going there tonight. Oh, and it ends on a, you know what? I was, I was hoping that it would end. I was hoping this heartbreak part would be like the middle of the episode and it would end on a better note. But oh, of course we ended with. Angst. I mean, good old angst. Love angst, but oh my god. Fuck! Mm. What an episode, though. Oh. And no music for the outro, either. Yeah, you're learning to stew in our feelings, aren't you? I'm like, so, I was so close to start, like, crying. Like, I'm just watery-eyed right now. <laughs> Oh, I got Cletus Colin. I think, oh, Cletus, I forget. I know Kini's the, the, the girl cherub because she's voiced by Vivian, but I forget which one's Colin and Cletus. I think Colin is the baby and Cletus is the sheep. Yeah. Uh, when's the next episode? <laughs> I'm waiting for the horse to come galloping by. That's it for... Spindle horse? And Brian. Brian's his name. Brian. Or not Brian. Bryce. Bryce is freaking Stoles' voice actor. Oops. All right. Well, uh, let me go ahead and get in my thoughts, even though I had quite a bit to say through this. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try and summarize and not go on for another, like, 30, 40 minutes on thoughts. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, man. Oh, what an episode. I... Oh. <laughs> I, you don't understand. Like, what? I want to cry so bad. Like, I'm on, a, I'm on the verge. Like, I kept tearing up and stuff, and I kept like, but it's just nothing pushed me over, and I don't know why. And I'm just... I, the closest I got was uh, that watching over again, that lip, that lip tremble from... So oh! Oh, dang it. Oh, that was a good, that was an all around great episode. Just, oh, the, the plot, like, it, of course they would, you know, they're not fully focusing on it, like, Souls and Blitz yet. And, like, that, you know, moment of the class, like, that moment. Um, but I do love in a way that it showed, like, somebody could say, oh, you know, that whole, all the sex stuff and everything in the cherubs took away from 
uh, like the the emotions for this episode but i feel like it built up to it because it honestly for me like cherubs aside and that aside for me it actually showed how deeply blitz does care about stillis because again some people couldn't go oh he was buying sex stuff you know like how's that sweet and romantic because it shows that he has taken interest and he remembers what Stolas likes to an extent like some of the stuff he's like he, he went to like fizz for help and that kind of thing was like you know what do you have for this and he's not good with like what's you know what like when the that one demon was like what mo the candle demon was like what mood are you trying to send he's like well i don't know just horny like he doesn't under he doesn't know how to be romantic in that sense but in a, it's still being sweet and thoughtful because he's wanting it to be right for Stolas and him that they've gone so long without having sex that it's like it's a special moment for them so he's trying to he's going out of his way and it's sweet in that way um so yeah like and then it culminated to what Blitz was hoping was going to be a night of passion uh, became a night of heartbreak um yeah like uh, uh, yeah uh plot was great for this episode characters were great you know, voice acting, I don't usually mention this, but the voice acting was amazing, especially, like, Bryce, like, Brandon did an amazing job with the emotional, especially at the end with the crying and stuff and getting angry and stuff, but Bryce, like, at least with singing and stuff, which I understand Brandon's not a singer, Bryce is, I believe, actually a, uh, uh, I was gonna say Bollywood, but <clears throat> that's India, um, uh, Broadway. He's a Broadway singer, I believe. So it makes sense that he could put the emotion into his singing and like the voice cracks and all that stuff and make it work. Um, so yeah, like uh, the song, the song, I was, I'm glad we didn't get a song at the end, even though it would have been nice. I like, they would have definitely needed like four or five more minutes to fit that in. Um, so I am, I also am kind of glad it ended on that almost quiet, like just no music, just let it sink in with those feelings and emotions and stuff. So, um, this, the one song was great. Uh, not, I feel like it was great on a almost like, not so much on a, a song that I would listen to over and over again. That's like an earworm kind of thing, but it's like a, it's an emotional song. It's a good song for like emo, like, I don't know, something that would work well for, I guess, Actually, not even, like, music videos or anything, but just it it, it fit that moment. The, yeah, it was a good song for that moment, but not a song that I would listen to, like, on a playlist or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying, I'm trying to explain it in a way. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but um, hopefully it does. Um, so, yeah, and the animation was, like, especially the ending scene with just the lighting and just how it... They went from like you know the room and it being almost like almost hopeful in the music you know of course souls the same and then it went moved on to as blitz got angry and then souls got hurt it became darker and moodier and just like dark reds with the dark blues and just the light coming in from the window windows and everything. it was just really good so animation fantastic and again like this is stuff that's free on youtube like i i'm sorry like this is where I made the comparison, I think, during ha the Hasbun Hotel, one of my reactions, or my summary of it for the last episode of Hasbun Hotel Season 1. I said that I I don't dislike Hasbun Hotel, but I love Hell of a Boss because it's still independent, 100% independent, and I feel like they can take their time more. Like, with this, like, it was delayed, I think, a few days or a week because they wanted more touch-ups. Like, they're allowed to do that. I don't think they can for Hasbun Hotel, you know, because it's from A24 and it's a big studio. So they're not going to say, yeah, delay it for a week or something like that. I don't think at least. So, well, Hasbun Hotel has great animation. Hell of a Boss just takes that, I think, a step above an extra just because they can. And that's where I do, like, in the animation way more. Or, yeah, in the animation, I would say. Because they can take that time. And I don't mind waiting. I'd rather have a much better product. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a... a meal at a restaurant if somebody says you know what would you like us to rush it and get it out to you as fast as possible for a mediocre meal or would you like it to take a little bit longer or you know somewhat longer for the best you know it could be and i would say do that because i'd much rather have that than a mediocre meal i mean i know some people would like just give me the cheap stuff or give me something fast and you know i don't care i just want to fill my stomach but for me i'm like you know what unless i'm dying of hunger uh which obviously i'm not i don't think any of us are for this you know animation i don't think we're gonna die if we don't get these episodes but <laughs> some of us might but i know i won't so i don't mind waiting um 
But yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 episode. Can't wait to see the next one. Curious to see how Blitz is going to handle this now that he knows Stolas loves him. I mean, he didn't say love, but like pretty much said, I care about you deeply and I care for you more than just because of our deal and because I see you as like a, you know, like... Yeah, like, so it's gonna be interesting to see how both sides handle this. And I think I was right then with the trailer, when I reacted to the trailer, that when Stolas has that almost, like, mocking, like, sneer or, like, look on his face when he's looking at Blitz, I wonder if Stolas starts... I wonder if Stolas goes into that role of treating Blitz like he's a lowly imp because he's kind of looking as, fine, if you view me that way and that's what you think I'm like, I'll start treating you that way. And that means we still have that shot of of Blitz with that, like, that uh, the curtain, or not curtain, but, like, a coat on him that's got, like, the red blood spots or whatever, and he looks all sad and he's looking up. Mm, that's going to be interesting. I think that's where it's possibly going to lead, that it's going to be, Stolz is going to go into the role of treating Blitz like that, or what Blitz had thought he was viewing him as. No, yeah, I think that's how it's going to go thing i don't know and maybe it's gonna be interesting how stoles is gonna take this like you could tell he was so deeply hurt by that that blitz fully believed that souls looked at him that way Ugh. uh anyway uh i don't like i said i don't want this to turn into a 20 30 minute you know thoughts but uh anyway ah uh, that's what i think of this episode i hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning afternoon night and keep running bright see ya